Hey, everybody, Ann here, sitting here in the tiny house, having tea, actually, today, because my stomach's a little upset, don't know what's going on. It is going to be a beautiful, sunny day today. It's going to be cold, but it's going to be sunny, so I definitely need to get outside. I haven't checked the chickens yet. Um, you know what I want to do right now, though? I went to the post office, and I picked up two packages, so I'm going to open them right now. <music> Here they are, the two packages that I picked up from my post office box yesterday. So it's time to, ch -ch -ch. yeah, different knife. I can't find my favorite one, so I'm just using this one. Okay. This one's actually sharper. Let's see if I can do this with one hand and not have to get the tripod out. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. What is it? What is it? What is it? Hold on, hold on. I gotta get the other side done. Come on. There we go. Okay, moment of truth. Ooh, what is it? Holy crap, hold on. I think. Is this a closed eye knock? Now, I had been told that somebody was sending me these. Okay, let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Clothes drying rack. Yep. I am not sure who this came from. So, um, there's no note. There's no note. I know that, um, I know that I was getting one of these. So, let me go back through my communications and see if this is the one that I was expecting. Um, I don't know. Uh, let me just... And I'll tell you what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open the other one and see what that is because that may help me understand who exactly sent this. Now it's time to open this one. Let me get my little knife and do ch -ch -ch again. Hopefully I won't cut through anything because this knife, I'm just going to use this knife because it is sharp. I don't know what I did with the other one. Okay, okay. All right, this one's a little bit tougher. Let me go ahead and... Get the tape off and then show you what's inside the box. Judy wants to know what it is too. So let me open it. More brown paper. I love the brown paper. Okay. I can put that in one more bin. Oh, it is another clothes drying rack. Okay. Two people have told me they were sending me clothes drying racks. And they look like they're both totally different. So this one actually comes with not only... Not only the receipt. Okay, this is from Ruth. Ruth A. J. This is from Ruth. Enjoy your gift. Alrighty. Okay, so I think the other one is from Elaine. Look at that. Would you look at that? Oh, I have been wanting one of these, so I'm going to be able to dry my clothes inside. Okay, I'm going to put these both together and let you see them. I am absolutely thrilled. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me get these together. And here are the two assembled racks. Now, I've got this around the wood burning stove very close. I'm not going to leave it like this, um, especially this one. This one right here, I've just got uh, hooked onto my tripod. So th it's made out of plastic. It's not going to hold up well right next to that wood burning stove as close as I've got it. But uh, check this out. I'm pretty sure this is the one that Elaine gave me. And then Ruth, this one, um, they are both wonderful and I can use them simultaneously. This one has little hooks hanging down from it all over the place. Look at that. Look at all those hooks. That is so cool. And they send extra rings and these little metal cl clothespins. So this is very, very cool. I can hang my dainties up on it, my socks and whatnot, and get them to dry. And see, that's part of one of the reasons why I don't want to cover these studs that are going in between, because this would be perfect to be able to hang off of one of these. So I'm still deciding on the roof. Um, and I like the look of the beams. I just like it. So I could get up there and... Uh, throw a bungee or something around um, one of those little rafter thingies hang this up it works just fine with this little tripod thingy but I'll have to move it further away from the stove 
This is so cool. I've wanted one of these for so long. Now, again, I'm, I'm not going to put this here. This is just for demonstration purposes. Um, I, I might likely actually move it over there, but i got to move some stuff around. Um, I don't want it that close to a wood-burning stove. Really, a few feet out is going to be just fine, and I can put a ton of stuff on this and, and get it to dry. So... Yep, it's laundry time. I don't know if I'm doing any laundry today because I'm just kind of feeling like blah. We were talking about seasonal affective disorder, you know, getting kind of blue and down during winter months, and that happens to me. So I don't know if I'll actually do, do laundry today or not. But thank you so much, Ruth and Elaine. These are the most wonderful additions to this homestead. Now I am totally hooked up. I am set for laundry and I can't wait to put these to use. This is just, check it out guys, all of those rings and look, you can move it around very easily, you know, in accordance with where the heat needs to go. And this one, I'll be able to put jeans and stuff like that on it. So thank you so much, ladies. This means an awful lot. Again, Christmas came early. I am just so set on this homestead. It's ridiculous. I just... Thank you. That's all I can say is just thank you. Remember this over here? It used to be turquoise, but I got the new shelving unit and it is set up behind here. The dimensions are absolutely perfect. So I'm going to go inside and turn on a light and show you what it looks like inside. This may be kind of hard to see because I don't have a lot of room in here, but this is what it looks like when it's closed off. I've got these zipped. I'm going to go ahead and unzip it and show you what it looks like. And it fits perfectly behind this. Perfect dimensions. Okay, let me unzip it and show you what it looks like. And this is what it looks like with a little thingy rolled up. Now, it comes with little Velcro thingies that you can use to you know, secure this up, but I've just rolled it up and put her over the top. It's just too much trouble to do this. So I've got plenty of hanging clothes room, plenty, plenty. And then the shelves are pretty sturdy. Uh, they can hold a lot of stuff. I mean, that's a pretty big bag back there. And then I've got some little toiletries and that's one of those little box tote thingies and I've even got room for more so I may be able to fit those baskets that I have inside here and then I've got an area for my shoes I got a little rug down there um, oh and over here too let me get out uh, the racks that I've got fit in here perfectly I've just folded this back up and it hangs from here and this one fits right see that you can see it right it fits right in here perfectly, so I have some place to stow these when they're not in use. So this is very lightweight, but it seems pretty strong. Now, if you're gonna, if you have a ton of clothes and lots of heavy clothes, you know, you got to be careful with that. Um, and also, you can you can actually make this whole top area, you know, from here all the way down to here just hanging close because there's a second bar that you can put across the top you just take out the shelves but I don't have a lot of clothes that I need to hang up so um, this is this is plenty enough room and at the bottom of the hanging clothes part there's another shelf so I can put more stuff on this so you guys I really really like this I really like it so yes I'm definitely gonna give uh, Amazon their money back because they had refunded it because it got lost in the mail but um, I like it, and it is so perfect for this area. It is absolutely perfect, and I was able to get this because of the um, the Christmas money that Grandma Net sent me and another individual as well who wants to remain anonymous. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You've made my Christmas very, very special. Oh, I forgot to tell you too. I've uh, put a little tap light on the top there, so when I come in here, I can just... Tap it, and I've got light. <sighs> like I said before, today is going to be kind of a, you know, a restful day. I'm really tired, so, but I still got to go out. I've got to bring some wood from the outside inside, and then I've got to transfer some more wood from the wood pile to the front porch. Got to gather some more kindling stuff, some little sticks and twigs, because I think I'm going to try and use that more than I've been using the cardboard. Because, you know, we all know that cardboard will clog things up and it's very, very ashy. So 
I got to get that done. I haven't even let the chickens out. I haven't even went to check to see if they've laid me any eggs yet. So I'm going to do that here in a little bit, and I'll let you know how I, how that went in the next video. Um, I did cook up two eggs that I had and uh, fried them up just like I did the other day. Delicious. Delicious. So I'm just going to do that and uh, check back in with you. If I don't see you again, well, I'll, you know, you'll see me. We'll see each other. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do for a Christmas Day video. I may go live briefly in the morning just to say Merry Christmas to everybody. But if you don't come back to this channel before Christmas, just Merry Christmas to all of you and your families. And I hope you're all well, um, which reminds me I have to give you up an update on Teresa. She's in the hospital. She's being cared for. Um, her blood pressure has dropped. She's had to have some IV fluids. Uh, one of her lungs is not doing so hot and her tummy's bothering her. So, um, But she says she's being well cared for and so just keep the prayers going that she gets better and well, hopefully she'll get out before Christmas. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.